If you're not sure about CSS, what it is, how it works, or even if it's worth spending the time to learn, then stick around. This video is just for you. All right, now in this video, I'm gonna attempt anyway to keep this as short and sweet and to the point as I possibly can. All I wanna do here is give you a clear, simple idea of what CSS is, how it works, and whether it's worth your time to learn a little bit more about. This is not a, an in-depth, comprehensive video. Instead, like I say, I just want to give you the basics here so you can understand some of the fundamentals. And again, determine for yourself if you want to spend a little bit more time learning about it. So here we go. In web design, CSS is HTML's sidekick. Use whatever metaphor you want, whatever pairing of historical sidekicks. We had Bo and Luke and we had Han and Chewie and Elvis and Costello. You get the idea. Anyway, now what you could do here is you could actually group this video up with two other tutorials that I've put together. One that covers the basics of HTML, the fundamentals of HTML, and a second tutorial that shows you how you can work with HTML and CSS together. As soon as those two videos are published, I'll link up to them for you down below in the show notes. Definitely check them out to gain a full understanding of how all of this stuff works. All right, I hope you're ready to roll. Grab yourself something to take notes with and something to consume. <laughs> Could be caffeinated or otherwise, and let's jump into it. All right, now to start off here, I'm gonna repeat something that I just mentioned. CSS is HTML's sidekick. CSS and HTML work together to build your web layouts and build your web pages, even if you're using some kind of a web design program that writes all of the code for you, maybe something like Dreamweaver or WordPress or a website builder, they're gonna be writing all of the HTML, but also all of the CSS for you. Now, here's a super quick history lesson for you. In the beginning, way back when, there was just HTML. That's all we had way back in the day. And as we saw in my HTML tutorial, HTML is just the raw structure. It's just the building blocks for things like paragraphs and headings and tables and images and so on. But as the web got more and more sophisticated towards the mid and late 90s, designers and developers wanted to push their websites further and make them look even nicer. So what happened is HTML began taking on a second duty. Primarily, it was built for structure, but it started to take on design and formatting duties, tasks that it was never intended to handle. So what wound up happening is HTML when it was trying to handle things like fonts and colors and other designy stuff got crazy bloated and totally out of control. It was completely unwieldy. Something had to change and that change was the advent of CSS. Now, if you're interested, CSS stands for cascading style sheets. So if HTML is the raw structure, the framework, the building blocks of web layout and web pages, then CSS is the dress up. It makes plain, boring, structural HTML look amazing. So CSS provides the formatting on top of static structural HTML. CSS describes how HTML elements should look and even how they should behave as well. So HTML is the structure, CSS is the design and the formatting. That's how it works. Now, CSS is a second coding language, so visually its code looks different from HTML. Now, I use this phrase coding language very cautiously, but also very loosely. This is not programming. This is just a very simple coding language that you could very easily pick up. It's not heavy duty computer programming or anything like this. Now, CSS does three things. It has three tasks that it handles. It controls text formatting, it controls page layout, and it controls HTML's behavior. If CSS were a drill sergeant barking orders, 
HTML is the raw new recruit awaiting orders. Think of that as your metaphor. Maybe that works for you. I don't know. So CSS, I should mention too, is rules-based. So you might have a CSS rule called emphasis, and it contains some instructions, like maybe some font formatting or some other instructions, maybe something like this. And I should mention too that there are many different kinds of rules depending on what it is that you want to do. It's really too much to get to in this short video, but the two most common rules are class rules or what are called class rules and ID selectors. Okay. Now, the structure of a CS rule is the selector, which is stated first, and that's what's being controlled, and then a pair of curly brackets, and then some instructions are placed inside the curly brackets, and the instructions are made of properties and values. Now, these rules that we create in CSS can be stored in a bunch of different places. We can store them in a bunch of different ways, and they can be applied to HTML in a bunch of different ways. Again, it's a little bit too much to get into here, but for now, that really is the gist of CSS, what it is, how it works, and some of the, the structural syntax for you as well. All right, now obviously there's much more to CSS than we've discussed here. Again, don't forget the idea was to try and keep this short and sweet and give you a quick idea of what CSS is and how it works. And of course, the million dollar question, should you spend the time, should you invest the time to learn CSS? And you know what? By now, I'm sure you've already answered that for yourself. I'll give you my two cents though, and this is this applies to HTML as well. You definitely can run a website or even an online business without knowing code. But as I said in my aforementioned HTML fundamentals tutorial, I think it's well worth taking the time to learn even the basics. Maybe not right now, but at some point in the future, absolutely. The more you learn about web design and not just the code, but what about things like graphics and WordPress and web hosting and so on, the more self-sufficient you can be, the more you can handle yourself. You'll be able to handle customizations and potentially any problems that might arise and so on. You won't be reliant on a flaky freelance designer to help you out. You can definitely do it all yourself. And none of it is rocket science. I got to stress here. It's not hard to learn. In just a few hours together, you and I could go through the fundamentals of both HTML and CSS and you'd be sitting there going, okay, I got it. That's really all there is to it. In fact, I do have an HTML and CSS course, a full length course here on 10 ton. I'll link up to that for you down below if you're interested, but more importantly, don't be intimidated by this stuff. Don't be intimidated by web design's background code. Again, it's not hard to learn and it's not rocket science and it's good to learn at some point. Anyway, I hope all of this has been super helpful for you. Now, I hope you'll join me over at 10 tononlinecom forward slash free there, I've put together a free online video course that takes this discussion of web design and building online businesses and so on even further. So I look forward to seeing you there. And hey, you know what? If you know anyone else who's interested in web design, who's maybe struggling a little bit, send them this video, send this link to them, the, the link to this video. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's help them out a little bit. Hopefully this short video will go a long way to helping out some other people as well. All right. I hope you had some fun. I hope you took detailed notes. <laughs> I'll be checking and I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.